I am really, really pumped to try this, but I just downloaded Mario Party Superstars for the Switch on the Steam Deck, which has quickly become like my favorite console of all time, but I haven't actually used it as a console yet. So Bronte and I are gonna go ahead and try hooking the Steam Deck up to our TV and plugging in multiple controllers. Well, they're gonna be wireless, but y you know what I mean. We're gonna try acting as if this is a real Switch and hopefully this is gonna be a blast, but uh, welcome to the vlog. So I have my Xbox One X hooked up to this TV. Dude, seriously, Microsoft, figure out your naming convention. Who names their next generation the Series X? Like, what a dumb name. Get it together, Microsoft. Anyway, so I'm going to unplug the HDMI cable from this. And I have this dock, which unfortunately doesn't have a USB-C port on it. So I'm not going to be able to power my Steam Deck while this is plugged in, but... I can plug in the HDMI. I guess that's actually all I'm gonna be using this for because all the controllers are wireless. Uh, looks like it's working, I think. Okay, that works. Now I just need to figure out how to get these controllers. I have one Switch controller and one Xbox controller. The moment of truth, Bronte. Yo, let's go. Steam Deck, you're awesome. Yo, this is sick. It seems to be running perfectly other than there's like a black box around it. It's not stretching out to the full width of the TV for some reason. But uh, other than that, this is sick. Excuse me? That's no, no, shit. no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we can see that. Oh, we're on the same team. Oh, oh God, oh, sorry. God, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why'd you jump off? because he was jumping on me. Well, how do you jump? <laughs> I don't know. I hate that Nintendo controls switch A and B. That's so stupid. This is legit like the best thing we've done in so long. Hooking up the Steam Deck to a TV is like the greatest thing ever. This makes me love my Steam Deck so much more. I've been seeing on Twitter a lot more lately of streamers who are just like absolutely burnt out of their main game that they play. I've been seeing it a lot with COD, especially slash Warzone lately. And before this, it was lots of Valorant players. And it just really got me realizing how lucky I was like halfway through last year to realize like you don't need to stick to a single game. It is nice though. I've been seeing a lot more streamers finally start to realize the same thing. And more and more people are like breaking out and trying more variety and trying other games. Like I've been seeing a lot of people actually trying Elden Ring lately that normally just stick to FPSs. But it kind of got me realizing that I feel like there's a lot of fake gamers in the streaming space, especially from like Fortnite popping off or maybe from the lockdown throughout the last couple of years and everyone hopping on Valorant because it was like the cool thing to do. And uh, you see so many of them on Twitter just like bashing their heads against the wall, being like there's nothing to play. So many of them just refuse to try other games and I'm almost wondering if it's because they're not actually like real gamers. The more I think about it, I feel like there's uh, so many people that I see constantly like on TikTok posting Valorant clips or whatnot that wouldn't ever be caught dead playing something like Elden Ring because that's like actually too nerdy and it's an actual video game versus, oh, well, Valorant or COD is cool. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not bashing on you if you enjoy those games. I enjoy those games, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's a lot of people in the streaming space that are in it for the wrong reasons and will only play what's ever cool. Either way, I'm just really glad to see a lot of other streamers finally starting to like let go of the notion that they have to just stream their one and only game for like the maximum growth. And uh, it's way more fun also as a viewer to see your favorite streamers trying new things. If you remember in the last vlog, Bronte and I attempted to make our own New York style pizza and we failed miserably. But ever since then, we have really been craving the real thing, well, as close as you can get to in Boise, which 
happens to be from our favorite place in Boise called Guido's. Look how much better that looks compared to our last week's attempt. Ooh. This is actual New York style pizza. I'm so excited. It's so good. That's, that's like one way to cheers, I guess. I couldn't wait to cheers it. It's so good. See, that's the that's the difference with ours last week. Our crust was so floppy and bad. We need a pizza oven. Yeah. We really need a pizza oven. Maybe this should be our ongoing journey with the vlog to try to figure out how to make a good pizza at home without a pizza oven. I should just pivot away from uh, gaming and streaming content, honestly, and <laughs> just, pizza channel. just become a pizza channel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's the dream, honestly. That would be the dream. Yeah. Like, I know there's this one dude that goes around, like, reviewing, like, every pizza place known to man in the U.S. He's kind of a jackass, if I remember correctly, and I really don't enjoy watching his stuff. I don't remember what his name is, but, uh... Drama? I could do it better than him, I think. <laughs> Just wrapped up working for the day, which is now one of my favorite things to do, because now that means I get time to play my Steam Deck. And now that I have officially owned this thing for a little over a month, I feel like the honeymoon phase is starting to go away, but uh, my feelings towards this thing has not changed one ounce. Like all I want to do still, even after a month, is just get done with work for the day and play this thing because I'm a gamer, I like playing games. But let me give you guys an update on the games that I've been playing on my Steam Deck. The game I've been playing by far the most is Doom 2016. I don't know what the heck they did to their game engine to make it so perfectly optimized. And like, yes, I know it's a 2016 game, but the fact that I'm able to completely max out all the graphic settings on that game while playing on this tiny little device and keep a perfect 60 FPS is just like the coolest thing. Like the game plays so perfectly on the Steam Deck. And then next up, I haven't actually started yet, but I just downloaded Zelda Ocarina of Time, and it's the 3DS version, and because this is a PC, I was able to easily add some updated texture files, so it looks even significantly better than the actual 3DS version itself, so I haven't played through the Ocarina of Time in years, and it is one of my absolute favorite games of all time, so I'm really, really pumped to finally be able to play this again in a really cool updated way. So yeah, I will be diving into that once I beat Doom 2016, and one thing I do wanna say is I'm trying my best not to have too many games installed on here at once, because I'm sure you guys all know the feeling when you have way too many games downloaded or installed like on your PC, you almost get like gaming ADHD where you fire up one game for 10, 15 minutes and you're like, oh, well, maybe I should play the other ones I have installed and just keep bouncing around, and then you never actually end up really playing anything. I'm really trying to avoid that on the deck, so I'm gonna have, like, one main game that I'm playing at a time, and then a few backup ones that I can just easily pick up and play for a few minutes when I don't really, like, want to focus on a single-player game. And one of those games that I've been playing lately is Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Once I got my PSP, one of my launch titles for it when I first got it was Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix on the PSP. And because this device reminds me so much of the PSP, I'm like, I kind of want to replay through that game, but gotta say some of the things in that game, you definitely could not get away with in today's age. And then going off of that PSP nostalgia, the other game that I've been playing through is called Ballistic NG, which is very similar to a game called Wipeout, which if you guys have never played any of the Wipeout games, they are absolutely amazing, but there's one on the PSP, it was called Wipeout Pure, that I played so much growing up. I absolutely love that game. But yeah, it's basically just like futuristic racing games, but it plays so perfectly on the deck. I really just, I love this thing, man. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here so I can play my, I almost called it a PSP, that was weird. So I can go play my Steam Deck. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really genuinely appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Bye.